Hmm.
Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time figuring out if this is going to work or not. Where is my other stuff? Oh, I'm using them. That would make sense. shouldn't matter. my loss have I measured it you mean through my cabling and all that through my bus bars what are you talking about I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to get the high voltage to jump my gap but my resistance it's going through my capacitors instead of through my gap here Bunch of nothing. A whole lot of it, too. Yeah, n no losses. I'm not... I mean, I could... I might need a higher voltage, but... big one but uh, my internal I don't know 
Oh man. My arc is. I can get a. a nice arc off that. I mean, I know it won't discharge if the voltage isn't high enough, so I guess I just need to go for a higher voltage and see what happens. That's what I'll do. There's 56 volts, 60 volts. Now let's try it. Still nothing. It will not jump the gap. That's correct. I'm thinking I got that wrong. My caps are... Yeah, I, I know that. How do I get around it? Well, you have to disconnect the capacitor bank, start up the arc first, and then, and then uh, with a contactor, uh, engage, engage the capacitor bank. Oh, I, I got you. <laughs> I could probably find a few. <laughs> well, here goes a nice discharge. Oh! Hey, it welded it to it. How cool is that? And it's still got power on it.
All right. Now we're discharged. So let's uh, let's try something here. <laughs> it's charging back up. That's what I'm gonna have to watch. Oh, free energy! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's try your idea, Zero. I don't think it's going to work. just like I'm trying to do right now, but with a crap ton of nasty RFF, RF voltages and all sorts of crap. Here, hold on. Uh, I'll show you. Let me show you. I have it the same way as I did, except I'm not using, I'm trying to use a, a flyback right now because it should have a blocking diode inside of it, which shouldn't, should, should allow me to do what I want. Can you see? Right here is my capacitors. I had that going through a inductor coupled oh it's a transformer, but it's coupled to my my high voltage side and then it just jumps the gap, but it actually has to make it through the capacitor to get back. It uh, this should work the way I'm doing it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to strike the arc and then attach the voltage and see what happens. That will work. That will work. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's not enough. It's just shorting out in between my caps. Well, we're about to find out. See, there's my arc. Let me set it higher. Alright, here we go. Nope. Oh, look at that, I'm just... I can draw a giant arc across my... cat bank. I had a lot of problems getting this set up originally, so... Yeah, yeah they're charged. Do you want to see? Yeah, he he's right. I'm I'm uh need to take my rings off too. That's a 
I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hook up my other circuit and just give that a try to make sure my internal resistance isn't over the amount that my circuit can handle. Dig up some other parts though to do that. Now that I'm starting to use these caps, they're actually starting to give that surface charge automatically back, where beforehand they, they didn't care. They haven't been using in like years. Okay. Guess that's what I'll do. Who's over there? Oh, Al? Okay. Let me get it here. Hold on. There we go. No, I did not send any. Okay, let's see if that works for him. Somebody watch that. Oh, 
I don't know. I guess I'll just... I'll try this and see what happens. I don't think it'll work though, even with... I just don't think I'm high enough on my voltage. Ooh. Um, don't, I don't really have a lug big enough for that. I need a vice grip. I don't think I have any. It's one thing I need for Christmas, guys. Somebody buy me some freaking vice clamps. This will have to do. Santa, is Santa coming? That'd be great. this up and see what happens. Coil. Coil. Mm -hmm. 